Hello, everyone. Today we are creating a Google review link for you to share with your customers. So when you look at a business on the map, on, on the Google map, and you see those ratings, you see the, the five star review link ratings, those are being pulled from your Google My Business account. Uh, that's where they're being collected. And you might be familiar with other platforms like Yelp and Yelp has all kinds of strict rules as to how you can and cannot uh, request reviews. Well, uh, Google's very encouraging of businesses to get as many reviews however they can. Um, the only challenge with that is they don't make it super easy uh, to provide just a link to your customers and say, you know, click here to leave me a review. And if you say, uh, if you ask a customer to review you online, you know, leave you a Google review, they might not know exactly where. And, and so um, you want to make it just as, you know, easy and frictionless as possible to get a five star review on Google. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to create a link to automatically populate that five star review. And then when you see the link, it's going to be ugly and long and gross and no way you could tell somebody like go here. So we're going to create a short link that's nice and clean and easy to share. Uh, I'll be using my WordPress website to make a redirect to clean up the link. Um, and, and that's probably the most popular route right there. Uh, so let's get started here. All right, now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open an incognito window. And the reason we want an incognito window, we want to make sure we're not logged in anywhere underneath our, underneath any of our Google accounts. Um, in addition, now with this particular task, we want to, we're going to come over here to um, more tools. I'm, I'm in Chrome. We're going to go to more tools. We're going to go down to developer tools and let's select, select developer tools. And now you'll notice that it changed the screen here of my incognito window to a smaller screen because this is showing us browser like it's a mobile device. In this case, it's an iPhone 6 Plus. It can be any of these. And uh, up here is this little icon here, toggle device. That That is where you flip between a web browser, like your typical uh, on a desktop, you know, screen with keyboard uh, view between the, the mobile device. So with this, we want to use the mobile. So uh, in, in our search bar, google.com, after we've made sure that we're in a mobile device. So now you, you notice that this is showing you what, you know, what it looks like when you're on your phone, right? So we click in here into the search. Now you wanna search for your business name as it appears in your Google My Business profile. So in my case, it's local SEO, drop the strap. We'll search for this and then you'll see your typical mobile search results. All right. And if we scroll down, this is our knowledge panel as it's called, which all this information is populated from your Google My Business account. We're going to scroll down here. We're looking for the section where people can leave reviews. So in this case, we need to expand down the window, or the, the arrow here. Scroll down. All right, rate and review is the section we're looking for. We're going to click this five star right there. Okay, now you'll notice the, the window updates and sign in to your Google account. Okay, now you're in the right place. But what you want to do is come up top to the URL excuse me, <clears throat> and copy out this super long, ugly URL. Let's take a look at this, this thing just so that you see what mine looks like and you can make sure. Okay. So, you know, th there's no way you could, you know, tell somebody, Hey, here's the link to go to, to leave us a review. Let me check real quick on my Google hangout. Okay. Making sure you guys are seeing what I'm seeing Do with this thing is we are going to go to Google URL shortener. 
Okay. And let me show you what that looks like. That looks like right here. Simplify your links. Your original URL goes here. So I am pa pasting super long gross link and I'm going to click this shorten URL button. And there it is right there. So I'm going to copy that out. Right. And I mean, that's it. So now go to um, We're gonna we're gonna go into our WordPress install. Where I have a URL redirect. So a URL redirect just means that when people go to this particular um, URL on your website, you automatically forward them to a different URL. Uh, in my case, with uh, my WordPress install, I use, what do I use? I use EPS redirects. And actually, I don't know that you can see what I'm looking at. So let's update your view to see what I'm looking at. Here we go. Okay. So now you are looking at my EPS redirect setting. So you can see right here, I have a redirect already in place, a 301 redirect. Dropthestrap.com slash YouTube. And that, here we go, I have this clean URL right there. Now that uh, clean URL redirects to, <coughs> to my YouTube channel. <coughs> for uh, people to subscribe. So if I'm talking to somebody in person and they ask me a question that's answered on my YouTube channel, I can say, oh yeah, I cover that in YouTube. You can go check that out anytime you have a few minutes and just go to dropthestrap.com slash YouTube and you'll find it. So in this case, we wanna get reviews. So for this one, we're gonna do, we're gonna do dropthestrap.com slash review and then, then in custom, we're gonna paste that Google URL shortener. And uh, I'm using the Google URL shortener here because earlier I was doing a once through on this before pushing record. And when I tried to put that super long, ugly URL into this EPS redirect, it was throwing an error. There are ways to, there are other places to store this, uh, depending on who you're talking to. There's, you know, what's right and what's wrong or whatever. But I want to do a version that out there could use. So there you go. That's it. Um, now when anyone goes to drop the strap review, let's take a quick look at what happens. And let me make sure that once again, you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. Okay, cool. So I'm now I'm typing in dropthestrap.com slash review. In this case, I'm gonna be logged in to my Google account. When I hit enter on this dropthestrap.com slash review, loading. It's connecting. Probably going a little slow since I'm recording here. Okay, so if you can see up in the URL, it has adjusted to that super long, ugly URL string. All right, now you see it's loading up my local SEO, drop the strap, call your location, uh, knowledge pane. If we give it a few more seconds here. We should see the review box load. Yeah, there we go. And the internet here is kind of dragging a bit. All right, so there we go. There's the rate and review, my business, uh, and you can see it's already with those five stars. So then someone can just come in here and, <coughs> you know, type in. whatever, and <clears throat> hit post, and there you have a review. 
So this just makes it as easy as possible. And that's the goal right there. You want to get reviews and you want to make it as easy as possible. So till next time, if you got any questions at all, leave them below. I really encourage you to try out that dropthestrap.com slash review link. And while you're there, how about dropping me a review? All right. Talk soon.